So this is kind of exciting because when we look at Class A, when you think Class A motorhomes, you typically think Class A motorhomes. But what you're looking at in front of you is a very, very interesting take on a Class A produced here in North America. This is actually called the Euro, and it's manufactured by the folks over at Coachman. I think what you're going to love about this thing is the innovativeness and the evolution of what you would typically see in North America as what you would consider to be a normal Class A, and what they've been able to do here to integrate that whole European look. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to welcome Mike. So Mike is, now what's your title? I'm the general manager for the Class A, uh, for Class A Motorhomes for Coachman RV. Really? So even this stuff too? Yes. Uh, we're Very unique cool. in the sense that we run all of our gas and diesels down the same line, um, so they get all the same love. We might have to take a look at this beast right here. For sure. I'm Absolutely. liking what I'm seeing. Yeah. All right, so please kind of introduce this product to us and what the whole mindset was behind it and what it's all about. Kind of our mindset was something along these lines was that uh, we wanted to bring to, to the market something that, you know, like you said earlier, uh, when people think of Class A, you know, this is a foot shorter than a normal Class A. It's about six inches narrower than a Class A that, that's built in North America. Uh, this take is from... Um, some from U, some UK designs that we you know obviously were developed got to develop here, but uh, from the very front of the unit to the back, I mean this is a totally redesigned um, front cap. Typically you will you will see something along these lines on a Mercedes chassis. Mm -hmm. We were able to uh, to do this on an F53 Ford, 178 okay. inch wheelbase. What's unique with this is that uh, you can still tow 8,000 pounds. Okay. So we kind of, we're standalone on our own with, you know, as far as that's going. Okay. And does this run the 7.3 liter It does. V8? 7 point, yes, absolutely. So you got the Godzilla engine under absolutely. here. Absolutely. It drives like nothing we've ever built before. Okay. So the interesting thing is, is you make some very large gas class A's that use the same power plant. Correct. So I can imagine on something that's arguably more aerodynamic, Absolutely. smaller, that this thing is really, I, would, I wouldn't want to say overpowered, but it probably is a little overpowered um, even for the size of unit, yeah, right? Yes and no. Um, we love the power and the, and the agility that it has, but it also, um, when you're not taxing the engine as much, mm -hmm. you get a little bit better gas mileage. So instead of, you know, the six to eight where you typically get that, you're going to get eight to 10 with something okay. like this. Okay, very nice. Let's kind of walk around it and see what you yeah. have going on. I love the blacked out wheels. I love mm -hmm. the, the color. And this is a full body paint. It is. Right? Yes. So on, on all of these, is this only going to be offered in full body paint or will you have it as like a, you know, These, a, a these will be full well. body paint. Um, and that's how we wanted it. We had a very specific, uh, uh, look in mind when we develop this thing. Okay. Um, right down to the Euro mirrors uh, for a larger Class A. Uh, typically, you'll see these on a diesel pusher. Um, yeah, really nice. Really rake the, the windshield back to give you that uh, you know that very aerodynamic look as well as the creature comforts of you know almost like driving an SUV. Yeah. If you were to sit in the driver's seat. And here's another thing with this. I think we hit a home run. In my opinion, is that uh, women are going to love to drive this thing. Mm -hmm. where you get into something along you know the traditional size the flat front end you're staring you know straight out instead of being able to stare down yep. and that's where you that's what uh where you get the automotive feel when you're sitting in something like this yeah for sure no, I, I totally get it i love the european style windows yeah we went Just to square windows uh i can't wait to show you the inside because it's uh we did uh, it's just as zero on and on the inside as it is on let's the head on in because i know that's what people are waiting to see another nice thing about this so before we walk in is that it's just the size of the thing. Mm -hmm. So it's only 27 feet long. Uh, you can get in all your national and your state parks. Uh, it's just a, it's a very user-friendly motor. Yep, I love the fact that you have the legless awning up top as yes, well. Yes, box awning by Gerard. Yeah, beautiful. And here's one thing, we did not skimp on anything. You know, when, when building this uh, came to mind with us, probably about 16 months ago is when we mm -hmm. really started. Um, the traditional Class A market is, is it has shrunk. I'm not gonna lie to you, that, mm -hmm. that market has shrunk. But I, instead of making them bigger and more features and da 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 da, it's just, we wanted to create something smaller and yeah. more unique features, yeah, if yeah. you will. Well, so, and when you get something like this, other things 
that people don't have to consider anymore are important. For instance, where are you going to store it, right? Something like this, you can feasibly store next to your absolutely, home. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you do have an HOA, uh, this is going to be definitely an easier sell for the HOA than oh, something yeah. that's you know, 37, 38 feet long. Absolutely, and what you've done in here that I really like, and I had a chance to kind of walk through it, is you've done exactly, I think, what you've tried to do, and that's incorporate that that European appeal. Absolutely. And, and quite frankly, the, the US RV market has been really, really legacy mindset in terms of interiors absolutely and you've done just a great job well, the we, overall look we is wanted beautiful. to actually create you know, give you the creature comforts of an a b and a c in those mm -hmm. classes i mean to a, a lagoon table where you can sit down these are these actually have uh you know kickups here um but you can sit there and use a table on both sides of this uh both of these chairs do swivel around um to, to make a conversation area mm -hmm. soft touch vinyl ceilings european cabinets uh, this lighting's brand new to our industry, and we have these on different zones, so you don't have to have them on all the time. That's nice. What so. I what I've noticed up front too, oftentimes when you get into a gas-powered motorhome, you skimp on technology up front. Yeah. You lose a lot of it. But I'm seeing a pretty large There's display right there. There's a half inch screen on that. So yeah, this is a uh, this is uh, something. That, again, this was a concept piece. We're prototyping it. Um, we'll probably go into production maybe in six seven weeks. Okay. But m for me. Uh, I want to take a lot of stuff home with me as far as, you know, like yourself or, mm -hmm. you know, d you know the dealer's perspective. Hey, what if you did this? What if you did that? We're going to compile all that information since this is our first one. And if uh, there's something we need to change or make better, we're going to do it. The question that my viewers will ask, and I'm just saying this because I know it's going to happen in the comment section. Um, if this video goes viral, then it's going to happen a lot. Um, is it possible to make this on kind of, um, I don't want to say super C chassis, but on a diesel chassis where you can put like the six, seven liter power stroke in here as a power plant option. That's something we haven't even considered yet. We, we, uh, probably not for us. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we're going to, we're going to stick with this segment right here. Cause this okay. is where we feel our diesel market does really well for us. Cause in our sports coach lineup, uh, we're bang for the buck. We, we mm -hmm. bring to the market, uh, a lot of product for uh, entry level price. Okay, so when we talk about uh, the extra, so does this have like an Onan generator on it as well, or yes. what type oh, of this generator? one? Well, you're using NPA. This one actually oh, NPA, does. Okay. Have, this one actually does have the Onan generator. I'm sorry, we're running dual airs on top, which you don't typically see uh, with uh, low profile um, GE air conditioners with low uh, with soft starts. So you're not going to have a problem in, in any climate starting them up. Um, yeah, it's just we really did our homework on this. Yeah. Well, let's kind of let's kind of walk around and see sure. what it's all about. I mean, this is like I said. You, these seats will flip around. This is, a, believe it or not, even with the the style, how stylish it looks, it, it still is a um, jackknife sofa. Okay. For another sleeping position, these are both belted. Okay. So you can sit in these when you're going down the road. Typically, you don't see that. Yeah. Uh, again, this is that lagoon table, which you know, as you're walking in and out, you can just kind of get it out of your way. Yeah. Um, Love how you integrated the LED lighting into integrated the countertop. LED lighting on all of our countertops. This is kind of a, this is a first uh, that I've seen in a Class A, um, as far as a, a hood vent. Yep, induction uh, cooktop very, as well, right? Yes, absolutely. No, that looks induction beautiful. Induction microwave. Now the square windows again very appealing on the outside. What makes them so functional for us in a Class A is that you don't have the valance that chews up some of the window mm -hmm. space or the legs. And the biggest thing for me is when you're going down the road, you don't want to hear all that rattling. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So trailers get away with that stuff and fifth wheels because they're not riding in it. Yep, yep. But we try to, you know, every time we, you know, basically just take one out and make sure that we don't get any of those rattles mm -hmm. and that noise, you know, because that drives me nuts. I, yeah. I can't even imagine owning well, one of these things and have that. Well, and it's it's been needed in the U.S. for a manufacturer to step up and create these windows here in the yes. U.S. because it's always been a European acrylic window. Absolutely. And that Lippert's now actually producing yes. a window that competes directly against that is huge. And that's why you're starting to see them more. You're starting oh, you to see will. them on more coaches, yeah. which is yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. I love the cabinetry, which you've done here. Yeah. Nice strut arms yeah. to support it. Um, also love the yeah, drawers. Spice, just like, like I said, little things. Thing for a spice rack. You will not find anything with more storage than this. You know, in this size unit, nice pantry. You know, hanging storage on both sides. For and my, these are all positive locking cabinets. Yes, so you absolutely. press the button in to lock it. Yep. So they're not going to fly open on you down the road. Yeah, there's a ton of storage in here. We'll probably add some drawers there. That's a nice, This is as simple as this is. Nobody typically has a trash can in their yeah, unit. Yeah. Um, you know, 
That's that's plagued the RV industry in general. Yeah, so. Absolutely, that and yep. a silverware drawer. So exactly. We, 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 we have both. So. Yep. I always tell people that it's not a functional <laughs> kitchen if you don't have a drawer. Correct. Uh, nice TV in the bedroom as well, king size bed. Um, here's one thing that you just you don't see in this size unit too is the size of the bathroom. Yep, very nice. Is that a macerating toilet? It is. All right, there are your controls. Very nice. Now, this is a beautiful bathroom. Again, especially for this size of unit, it feels like it's in a much larger unit. And, and again, that's stuff that, you know, we, we have people bigger that sit down in there and make sure their legs can swing in and just uh, the creature comforts of, uh, of, of, an, of your house, but in mm -hmm. an RV. Yep. Does the end of the bed flip over when you put the slide? Uh, but yes, it does flip over. Very it's nice. A folding mattress. The the lit up batten strips mm -hmm. absolutely add so much appeal. And these are zoned, so you don't have to have them on all at, you know on at the same time. But it's de definitely a, a cool look. And uh, we went to almost everything across the board with the on our A's with this. Very cool. so. so when can people start expecting to see these at dealerships? Uh, we'll probably go into per full production. Like I said, we're going to take back uh, some you know positive criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, take that back, and uh, you know six eight weeks probably we'll okay. go into production. Well, good deal. It's exciting. Yeah. It's good to see units like this appearing in the it's very US. Very innovative. Yeah, very, very innovative. innovative. Yeah. And it's kind of funny if anybody's watching this from the UK, they're going like, "We've been doing we've this been doing for this a while." Forever. So yeah. it's great to see it on this side of the pond. <laughs> no, yeah, it's uh, it's something we're very, very proud of. And I guess there's one thing too that I'll say is that it took all of us, you know, not only production, but you know, it took the sales team, took myself, it took you know, engineering and uh, you know, purchasing. You know, everybody had some, it was a collaboration of all of us to, mm -hmm. to bring this thing to the market. So, well, that's yeah. awesome. And it yeah. usually good things happen through teamwork and yeah. you know, you can definitely tell you've put a lot of thought into this product. Well, very nice. Well, Mike, I definitely appreciate your time. Thank awesome. you so much for Thank coming you. on the channel. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Yep, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.